Halloween. It's uh, December 17th and I screwed it up. <laughs> I was, let people get on here for a second. I, I didn't know I was live like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I was talking to Suzanne at the store. I hope I didn't see anything inappropriate because I, I have been known to not have the most straightforward language. Uh, colorful language is what I have. <laughs> but I think the one that wanted to say bad words was uh, John because he had to go reset everything. So I am so sorry, John. <laughs> Claudia, it's about you today. Claudia File. Yay, all the way from Germany. Yay! Uh, I really am very excited that her little interview is going to air right now because I think for those of you who are working on the Silk Project, you're going to find a great appreciation of what she brings to the table. A great appreciation. Uh, oh, there was no sound. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> John's office is a, you know, we, we're in our, in the bedrooms. I mean, this is a studio that's had on, but he comes out his door and his eyes are like bugging. <laughs> You're on live. <laughs> okay. So Helen, thank you. John's bubble today is much better. I said, could you drive if you needed to? And he said, yeah. So I think he said before it was his eye surgery, it was two thirds, kind of maybe, just see up here. And now it's only like one third, but he is still wearing the eye patch and stuff because it's very discombobulating, if that's a word. And it, you know, kind of making him, it's, it's weird, it's weird. He has a whole new appreciation for anybody who's blind in one eye. It just kind of throws off your equilibrium a little bit. So let's see what, I'm happy to be able to join Claudia. Hey, um, how are you Claudia? A answer in here and we'll see it. I know there's a little bit of a delay, but uh, how are you my friend? So here we go, New Zealand, yay. All right, I've got some things that I want to cover, starting with, don't forget that today I've got my interview with Lee Chapel Monroe at the Quilting Hour at noon, at noon Pacific time at ctpub.com. And how you're going to find it, it costs, it's a minimal charge to get in, but it's how they can keep this platform going. I'm going to be on with Anita, and of course, Lee will be hosting it. And what we're going to be talking about today, what does she call it? Modern, modern, modernational or something like that, where you, where you become influenced by traditional quilts, but then swing it into the modern world. And that's kind of, I've always been influenced by traditional quilts. I mean, always. And it even carries into what I'm doing now that's kind of artsy. So you go to ctpub.com, you go to the Creative Spark area, and you can see there on the left-hand side is uh, the Quilting Hour with Lee. So, yay, here we go. Okay. You have been posting stuff in the forum, and I really super appreciate it. So let's take a look. And what we're going to do is, uh, hmm, I don't know what we're going to do. Let me think about this. Okay, so let's, let, let's look at everybody's work, all right? Uh, this Barbara sent to me, and she asked me specifically, how can she make it so it's not cockeyed when she does the blanket stitch? Well, there are a couple things. There is one thing you could do. You could take that purple erasing pen, which I see you've got there, self-erase, and draw the little lines so the spoke comes out exactly how you want it. But I would not honestly lose any sleep over it. Let me show you something here. I was dismayed at these, if you want to get right down to it. And then I dropped in the little French knots and... And in the scheme of things, is anybody even going to see it? No. So just keep going. As these little pieces, these magical pieces come together, the less stitching on it, the more every single boo-boo is going to show. 
But once the whole thing becomes a glorious playground filled with stitches, no one's even going to dial it there. So yeah, you can straighten them up, but I, I would not lose sleep over or think twice about it. This is um, Caro's, and she used the purple pen to, first of all, I love this. I absolutely love this theme with these neutral silks. She pre-marked the whole thing with the purple pen and then it went away. Yeah, it does go away. So then I think she used like a running stitch or a basting stitch or something like that to keep her lines on. When I'm using this purple pen, I use it for what I know I'm going to sew right now because it will go bye-bye. But that's the beauty of it is that it's not going to, uh, you don't have to put water on it if you don't want. And of course I don't have a pen right here. Well, it, oh, here it is, this thing here, this thing here. Okay, that's what I use because it goes away by itself. And then it has an eraser, whoops, on the white end that you can just erase little lines and stuff and not have to use water. Love it. Okay, where were we? Okay, the, okay, I think we're to Janet now. Okay, so Janet is traveling back to her kids or grandies, and this is what she's taking along with her. Janet, I mean, yeah, you are nailing it. You are nailing it. Take a bow, please. Okay, then Noelle is still waiting for her package. <laughs> And I don't mean to be laughing at you. It makes me want to cry. This just makes me sick. And apparently you're not the only one. It's stuck at customs. But her, we've been looking at your work. You went and um, got stuff from your girlfriend, yay. And her, your, your husband says, oh, you're working on your aquarium. And what I'm noting from you guys is that you're becoming very addicted to this. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, this is Suzanne's and she's starting to get go. You know, it's funny, I'm working with the pastels, but then I see the neutrals. Well, I do have that, but then I see the brides and they're all so different. Okay, Tony, good for you with the ovals and the circles. And I see that you did what we did on Wednesday with the berries. It's just beautiful. It's, they're so different. Okay, this is Carla's. Oh, Carla, beautiful. That's the grunge fabric, remember you guys? But the funny thing is that she is like absolutely addicted to this now and she should be wrapping presents. I hate wrapping presents, <laughs> so I get it. And in fact, I think one of the nicest gifts John is giving me this round is that I woke up in the morning and he'd wrapped a bunch of presents and put them under the tree. I just, you know, my daughter-in-law loves wrapping presents and I'm like, just give me a felt tip pen and let me write on it and see. <laughs> All right. There we go. And then here we have Joanne. Super fun. Joanne mentioned that this is the first time she has done something like this and she's now fallen in love with it. Joanne, if this is the first time, I wouldn't have guessed it and it's fabulous. And by the looks of it to me, you're working on a really nice cotton there. All right, then we're gonna go to Carol. So Carol was stuck in a hospital waiting for her husband's surgery as I, and look <clears throat> what she did. That I, We got to tilt our heads. We have to cock our heads, but it's C for Carol. And I bet that's just a bunch of chain stitches that she filled in. And then she used that little vine that we did on Wednesday and the little flowers. I mean, it's just so amazing what you can do, okay? So I've just made the executive decision. We're gonna go take a look at Claudia file and, and then I'm gonna do a couple simple stitches when we get back. We're gonna run a little bit long, but I don't think anybody's complaining. So Claudia, even though we didn't see you in person, man, we love you and your work just, I remember the first time I became acutely aware of your work, just wow. And I don't remember if everything she sews is in silk, but I would say that is her fort silks. Here we go. Hello, Claudia File. How are you this evening? Hello, Alex. Wonderful to see you. A long time ago and now on the web. I yeah. know. And here, 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 here
uh, near Cologne, Düsseldorf, in the Western parts at the Rhine. Beautiful okay. region. Yeah. And Claudia has been on the show. In fact, your show number was 2413. And you completely shattered us in a wonderful <laughs> way. <laughs> My spontaneous, uh, crazy way, probably. <laughs> no. So first off, congratulations. You got second place in what uh, what category at Houston? Um, abstract category. Okay. So I was totally amazed because I never expected to win anything. So, wow. I was well, crazy happy. I am not amazed because we saw this quilt in progress behind the scenes when we taped the show, and it just stunned us. Let's take a look at it so people know what we're talking about, okay? Okay, okay. Hi, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell us about this, please. Yeah, I think you just saw it as a top, and it was very fragile because it's out of two puny silk. And... Um, yeah, it's bricks and gears, and I combined um, courthouse steps, traditional courthouse step blocks with um, circles um, done by a, with a 15 degree ruler. And um, it was fun to play with and to arrange the gears onto the surface. And um, yeah, all my quilts are just a growing process, so I never know what the end, at the end, how the quilt will look like. So, yeah, it's an amazing process, and I'm always hesitating, ready to throw it through the closed window. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's an artist's soul. Never be happy with yourself. But um, now I'm super happy. <laughs> and we haven't had a chance to show this quilt the last year, one and a half years. So um, now it's time to go to travel again. Yeah. And it is it is in Houston, it is in the show too, right? Yes. Are you going to yes. Houston? No, you can't, can you? Mm -hmm. You got shut out, baby. You know? Mm -hmm. Let's do a close up. Look at this, people. Look at her quilting. Tell us about Okay. Um, yeah, I combined the pieced circles like the gears, but I added additional gears um, cut out of organza and uh, very fine dupioni silk. And I've used those on to the background as well, overlaying, underlaying, playing with different layers. And um, yeah, I used the um, scan and cut part oh, for this uh, scan and scan and cut tool for this process for the um, organza parts and organza parts and um, yeah, and I used all the cut out leftovers for another space, so it was kind of a puzzle on the surface. So, Claudia, how big is it? And I'm sorry for the, uh, I'm tell everybody we have this weird delay going on, and I apologize for that. Um, we couldn't figure it out, but here we are. We've got Claudia, so. We are live. <laughs> yeah. How, um, how big is this piece of yours, may I ask? Oh, um, big. probably big. Yeah, they are just growing, so I never know how and I should have had a look, uh, maybe, wait, wait. I invented a pattern. So it should be after this quilt, and I'm just reading, it should be 60, around 70 inches by 80 inches. But now wait a minute, you, have a pattern. you are gonna have a pattern on this. Yeah. How do people get that? Oh, order online as a PDF download. <sighs> And what's your website? Uh, ClaudiaFile.de. Hey, Claudia, uh, spell, spell your last name. <laughs> I'm prepared. There we go. Wow. Okay, so let's take another look at because you have beading in this thing too. Absolutely. Ooh. Crystals, Swarovski crystals. Ooh. Tons. Tons. No, not tons, but several, 20,000 or something like that. Wow. I never but, count. But who's counting, right? Yeah, I count the leftovers. <laughs> okay, look at this. 
Oh, Claudia. Yeah, and I tried to, with the quilting, I tried to get this technical designs in it. So like buttons to press, like a motherboard. Um, yeah, kind of, I don't, I'm not a technical person, so I'm missing the words. Like on a, um, what's going on on a motherboard, those little lines and all those bits and pieces and buttons to press. This I tried to, um, yeah. So Claudia, Put it into my quilting. did you do this on domestic yeah. or a lawn or sit down? I am a passionate long armor okay. by heart. Okay, okay. <laughs> and all in free motion and all without any stitch regulated. Re stitch regulations. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the big quilt again. I mean, it is just gorgeous. I and I found some leftovers. <gasps> so I, I can explain how I've done those. So this is a real leftover I searched today when you called me that you want to do a video. So I thought I I can show you something. So I oh, let's done this. I pieced those a, a panel. This was originally a strip panel. I might not showing it correctly. But then I used the 15 degree ruler to cut out the edges. I'm just guessing where I'm showing. And um, piece them together as a circle again. Then I put freezer paper behind it to get the right shape. And then I hand applied onto the um, quarter step background. That's a fast way to explain. I was fascinated that you don't put anything on the back of your Dupiani. I learned that when we taped with you, that you just work with it free form and you don't worry about it free right. stuff. No, nope. I have another example. This is a leftover mm -hmm. because I keep all my leftovers. Um, when I cut behind the circles, I keep those leftovers. You never know when you need them again. <laughs> Exactly. So the silk is not stabilized in any way. And I'm not afraid of, there is fraying, yes, but I'm not afraid of the fraying. And here I used a paper piecing method. So I've pulled out all the paper already. And so my seam allowance were a little bit larger than usual. So, okay. yeah, because of the fraying. But as you can see, nothing happens so don't be afraid of using silk those are just fairy now not fairy tales but you have to handle it a little bit more mm -hmm. with a little bit more seam allowance but that's all yeah and it has a glow <clears throat> sign to it that you can't get with cotton period exactly exactly and the textures while quilting is not comparable to anything else oh yeah okay so let's talk about the quilt behind you i'll start with a full shot oh, oh well no there's that one whoopsie sorry what don't worry doing? yeah there the new go. the new one is the brand 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 new one we just hang it yesterday into the studio so and now it's a tongue breaker to say the name it's fractured flotation what's that first word fractured oh fractured like sorry Fra yeah sorry my english is not as good as well, yours. i think it's my <laughs> it's great okay i love it all right so let's take it some close-ups on this one here we go. I and then I will tell the story about that one. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Okay, yeah. let's hear the story before we look at the quilting on it closer. Um, yeah. You know we have COVID times and should be well known now. <laughs> and in August, in August 2020, um, I opened another group, the second mission of Fearless Fighters. We have had a first group beginning in March, and I opened another group, fear, second mission of the Fearless Fighters on Facebook. 
Um, I've had around four or five hundred followers, and I assume, I hope, they all were joining me on this journey to work with me parallel, time-wise parallel with me. And um, yeah, some were earlier finished than I was, but uh, I have had some distractions like a new website, a new web shop, and some st other stuff to do. So finally, I was finished, yeah, two days ago, and yesterday we have hung, hung it in the showroom. And um, yeah, happy dance, really. I couldn't see it in, on the machine anymore. And um, yeah, so the fun thing is, it is kind of, um, if you want to interpret the quilt, it is broken, fractured, and it is reusing um yeah how do we, I, yeah reusing the background to get another circle so i applicate one circle a one large circle i've cut out like i'm normally doing in my other quilts too the background and i used that background to get another circle so it was kind of go around go around get getting smaller circles and my followers in the group were super happy they made beautiful quilts as well out of mostly out of batiks and um, yeah and that is the story and fractured because of broken and flotation because of the shadowing and the the circles seem to float on the surface let's take let's take Close up. Did I show this quilt? No. Let's talk about the quilting. Yeah, the quilting. I thought in this crazy times, everything is going around. And I used my giant spiral ruler. So I'm saying intentionally my giant spiral ruler. And because I made this ruler here in my new location, there's a new neighbor who was able to work with acrylic and I'm prepared. Here's my giant spiral ruler. Yeah, it's very fragile, as you can see, but it works fine on a long arm. I haven't tested it on a domestic machine yet, but I have a customer who's trying to do that. So I promise you will have fun on a long arm. I'm skeptical because of the size, it's big. Mm -hmm. giant but I created all the spaces with this spiral ruler overlaying again working in layers and and then filled the spiral so do you, the, do you ship to the United States sure okay it's me expensive go. yeah like what um it costs 38 dollars because it's a huge box mm -hmm. but I I've sold several already and I've shipped already. So my experience is if three persons are joining together, we can fit three rulers in one box with the same shipping. I don't think that's that bad. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's um, it's fun to quilt. <laughs> yeah, here's another one. Oh, Claudia, yeah, you, I love it. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a firm believer that simple shapes uh, makes the quilting, like my bridges, my S shapes, and my bubbles, and my S curve, but the combination makes the texture, like writing a letter. I'm hesitant to talk about the background and stuff, but I want to say um, I love your work. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I can't wait to see if any time you want to do an interview, let me know because I cannot wait to see what you do next. You have magic in your fingers, girl. Um, yeah, I'm not running out of ideas. Yes. <laughs> and maybe, but maybe it's if, a you time watch, problem. if you've watched the show, maybe it's because it's, you only work with top shelf. Um, right now? Just water. <laughs> but, but the people love the top shelf story, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> when so, we hang up, no. you can go have top shelf because it's about eight o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I didn't want to be too funny here on the <laughs> on the interview with you. <laughs> I I need to behave. So um, no, everything is good, and um, yeah, I I would love, and I'm so 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 sad that I'm not able to fly to Houston to teach my students. The classes would have gone well. Um, I apologize, but it was not in my no. It I wasn't couldn't. you. No, no. Four days earlier, the travel ban lifted. Four days earlier, I would have been made my life easier. But uh, yeah, so it it was not going to go. Well, we love yeah. you. Ah, thank you. I love you too. And I wish I could travel soon again. But this is an idea for the future. Why you are not coming, Alex and Ricky? Why you are not coming to Krefeld one day? And I want to, in the future, we have to think positive for the future now. Um, I want to invite Americans to get classes here in this immense, beautiful studio. And... Um, and we could do something together too, Ricky and Alex. What about that? Mm. Mm, from your love. I love the idea. The room, the, have you seen the space? Check my website. You will get a glimpse of the space here. It's really beautiful. And again, your website is? Uh, wait. <laughs> Here we go. And you can contact me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Um, yeah. So. You, have a, you have a good one. And go enjoy Top Shelf. No. <laughs> a wine. A wine will be good. So, um, And we are looking matching with your blouses. And this was in, unintentional. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, see you later. Thanks, friend. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Isn't her work amazing? Just amazing. Um, I apologize for that feedback. I, I stopped talking. And I think now, after two years, I might know what was going on. It's happened a couple times with interviewees. <clears throat> it's that I'm they, that, that we should have had an earplug in her. But next time, it doesn't matter. Her work is fabulous. Her, she is just so talented. And I love when she says that she doesn't know where her quilts are taking her. Well, that's kind of exactly like our project here. I don't know where it's taken us. You just keep stitching and doing your thing. And I had forgotten about the circle quilt, which seems very serendipitous with what we're working on right here. So Claudia, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's do a couple little bonus stitches uh, with your permission. And they're gonna be straight stitches, all right? So, so there's a couple ways you can do straight stitches and why you might want to do a straight stitch. So for instance, let's go here. Oh, here's this one. Right here, oh, let me see if I can get this tuned in just a little bit better. There we go. Right here are just little running straight straight stitches, almost like Sashiko, okay? And then what I did was I went for the every other and then put in another stitch. And in this case here, I used metallic so that it gave it a little bit of sparkle. That's one thing you can do with this. I'm gonna go back to what Lee's grandma taught us. Uh-oh, where did that go? I had a threaded needle. Hmm. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, wait, is it under there? No. This never happens to you, does it? Well, darn. Okay. So what Lee's grandma taught her was, and I showed it on Wednesday, is to put a little mark on your finger. And I would say that's a little bit more than an eighth, a little bit less than a quarter. And... I'm gonna come up. And so I can see here, are you coming in for a reason? No, 
Okay, I'm going to go down here because that's where. And I'm going to come up here. You can see I'm measuring it. And you just take these little stitches. The main thing is to go for even. Okay, that's the main thing. Okay, so then what can you do with this crazy little thing? Well, let's see. I could put French knots in between. I could weave with another color. Or I could fill in. The sky's kind of the limit. I'm going to have to thread up another needle here. I got so excited with Claudia that <laughs> I lost my needle. <laughs> so again, I really like working with Sashiko needles because the eye of them is, is it, it doesn't bow out like this. So when you're doing wrapped stitches, you don't get hung up on that. So let's do this. And in the book, if you find this stitch, you're just going to see there's so many things you can do <clears throat> with just taking little stitches. And in fact, that's how I did my little box that I showed you a few minutes ago that was so wonky. All right. So, whoops, where do you go there? Let's do this guy. In this case... And in, on my actual quilt, again, I used metallic. I mean, these are just kind of no-brainers. Right? Let me go a little bit more with this one, because you could also wrap. I wish I had my little, um, I use those little thimble pads that come in the kit. It saves my pushing finger. Okay, the other thing you could do is you could go like this and like this and pull it. Remember, don't pull too tight, guys. If, if things are starting to gather up, you're pulling too tight. All right, so let me show you something else. Now this stitch looks like it's an easy stitch, and for me, it is really hard to get good at it. John said I'm moving this around too much the other day. But what you do is you start forward. It's called the back stitch. I'm gonna see if I can get this a little bit more. You go, I'm going to head in this direction, but I'm going to go back, okay? And then I'm going to go forward, and the, the, the going back, that's where the stitch is going to lie, and then the going forward should be the same length. And again, you could use your little, your little um, thumb secret. Now, really, you want to kind of go down in the same hole. And while this looks like, to me, what I would call a dum-dum stitch, it's not. It took me, I, I realized I was pretty bad at it until I saw, and when I saw Lilo, see, it's a little crooky. You could draw a line if you wanted. In fact, you probably are drawing on a line with that purple pen. And then what I like to do with this, and I'll show you a finished one in a moment. Let me come up. I love this. Do you run the pearl cotton through the thread magic? Do I run the pearl cotton through the um, thread magic? If if you feel like it, sure. I, I the the thread magic I. Mm, really like for when I get into metallics. And remember, your thread can get super twisted. Okay, I, I can pull it tight. You can get super twisted and you can untwist it, but I think it helps with that, with the twisting. But what if you just leave a little bit? You 
you can see how I'm manipulating it a little bit here. Ah, when demos go awry. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. Oops, and I'm just, when I, when I look at what's in the forum, my socks just get completely knocked off. Just pull it a little. So I'm just making a little loop de do on each one. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, let's find it on here. There's a woven stitch around the outside edge, which was the first. Um, oh, here, this one, I did little loop de doos and it's the far apart stitches. Okay, and I wouldn't really start adding metallics until down the road because they can be a bear. But there's another one where I skipped stitches and I looped it. Okay, oh, here, perfect. And then this one, I went and I did the little loop de doos. I think they're just really cute. Again, in the book, in the book, here's just straight stitches. The little box that I did, all these little things you can do with straight stitches. Look at that. And then the outline stitches, all the things you can do with that. So I think, yeah, I do think that one is called a back stitch. I'm not sure. But as we post things in the forum, what's really cool is we can see how what everybody else is doing. And so I'm sorry if your presents aren't getting wrapped. <laughs> But this is just the perfect thing to sit down and do. Okay, when I got on earlier by mistake, I was calling Suzanne in the store. And USPS, the U.S. mail system, has said everything that is shipped today should make it by Christmas. Uh, we, I can't give you a personal guarantee because I know there are people still waiting for their boxes from our shipments, so I can't be responsible for USPS. But if you get your order in by uh, 1 o'clock Pacific time, Suzanne promises that they will be out the door. Also, we are currently out of stock with these lap apps, which is a wonderful gift. But I know Suzanne ordered some more of them, and they should be in momentarily. If you want one of these for yourself for Christmas, what you might do is just cut out a picture, wrap it up, stick it under the tree, and then, <laughs> and then we will contact you if you put it on your wish list, all right? So my mother taught me all these stitches starting from age 10. It's fun watching you do, brings back memory. Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, and so Wendy liked the, the it's not my technique with the marks on the thumbnail. Um, that is from Lee's, Lee's uh, grandma. I think we are good. Okay, so uh, what's today? Friday. I'm going to do my thing with Lee at noon. And then tomorrow, Dee will be wrapping up her Christmas, not presents, her Christmas project. And then on Monday and Wednesday, I will be here. Hopefully, I'll be giving you enough things that you can, that you can, you know, stitch through the holidays. All right. And somebody asked me yesterday at my mini group, is the beige one done? Is this thing done? And I said, I don't know that it'll ever be done. I mean, I honestly don't know. At some point, I just have to stop and say, well, you're enough. <laughs> right? So have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to go over to my girlfriend's house. She bought the 7, 7, 770 and she is a little intimidated by it. So I'm going to go over and we're going to, we're going to have 77 101 boot camp. Don't get off your old machine and start stitching. You can do it, Dawn. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> All right. Make sure there's not any more questions. Okay. Okay. See you guys later. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye.